Oh my god, it's cold. Yeah, it's California and I'm complaining about being cold. Hey people, people. So, it's early in the morning. I'm very excited because I'm going to the gym for the first time in two weeks. I'm feeling, feeling a little bit soft after the holidays and New Year's and um, I've been battling with vertigo oddly for the last few months. Uh, if you've never had vertigo, it's not, not, not that pleasurable. As it turns out, a lot of nausea and sick feelings and you can't walk right anyway. Uh, look at this nice little fuzziness we got going here. So you guys can't see my hair. It looks like I've been electrocuted. Sometimes I go out in public looking like this because I want to. I want looking good to know that I can't win. But uh, here's what I really wanted to tell you guys. I woke up feeling spectacular this morning, and really for no reason. So I had to look for myself because the last few days have been extremely challenging and with a lot of stress and all these different things because right now, um, as you know, <clears throat> Elon and I are putting together a pretty badass event and instead of going up to bat and trying to hit a single, we're just going up there and trying to rip some home runs. So we're playing pretty big and thank God for my girlfriend, Jordan, and um, our friend, Carrie, who used to work for Tony Robbins, but we stole those draft picks and have been absolute angels in this process and putting this whole thing together so that the people who come to this experience have the absolutely most amazing time of their lives. And I'll be honest, I have been scared shitless of this event. Uh, I know Elon's had some stuff about it too. And he also made a video about why we're doing this and it's partially because we're, we have this thing about doing what you're afraid of as a means to growing and as a means to developing yourself and this is something we've been really scared to do and it's also why we're doing it at the level we're doing it because nothing scarier than that and I was looking for myself you know I woke up feeling good like real good today emotionally physically last night I finally got in a really good solid meditation and this morning like I said I'm going to the gym so I'm getting back into my rhythm back into my pattern which always seems to straighten me out but we all know that when you don't know an outcome of something wow the waves are huge right now when you don't know the outcome of something when you can't see or predict what's going to happen what's going to show up is fear right we all fear the unknown and it had occurred to me that I had invested time about 24 hours really getting into the nitty gritty of the things that I didn't know about this event and making them known. And I got power because I did that. So I suddenly realized that I'm committing myself that when there is something unknown to investigate and do the work to have it be known so that I can get my power back. Because oftentimes when we don't know something, you know, we either argue about it or we just don't do the work to make it known and then we sit there with our fear and we're debilitated by it. So that might seem like a really obvious thing, but I just want to point it to I want to point out that when you're doing work, like when you're doing transformative work, essentially what you're really doing is you are bringing awareness through distinctions to phenomenons that are occurring in your life. That's really what the work is about. And when you bring consciousness to phenomenons, what you suddenly have is power, right? So what I see so many times is that people are trying to defeat fear. They're trying to defeat their anger. They're trying to defeat their sadness. And here's the thing, it's not defeatable because it's all part of this mechanism that we call a human being. And if it's part of the mechanism, that's like trying to make your blender not blend or your TV not show whatever, like the, the, you know, whatever you see on the screen, it's just part of the mechanism. It's how it works. So it's not about finding these things out so that you can defeat them. It's so that you can see them for what they are. 
and actually build a relationship that works for you because it doesn't work for you when you don't have power around your fear. It doesn't work for you when you don't have power around your sadness. It doesn't work for you when you don't have power in your relationships or around your health or your body or any of these things. And it's really just the ability to see sometimes the other side of the coin, right? Like fear is, uh, you know, having courage is not the absence of fear. It's the willingness to take action in the face of it. So when you have fear, you don't have power. But when you have courage, even if fear is there, you have power. And that's really what we're looking for. So I woke up this morning. I look like a crazy person. I freaking love it. But the thing is... I got my power back this morning and it's just the little things that I brought awareness to and consciousness and I feel good and I'm going to go express that goodness at the gym. Happy Friday everybody. Happy New Year everybody. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.